Parents would like to believe that the shows they allow their children to watch are wholesome and innocent. However, this might not always be the case. From subtle adult jokes to obvious obscenities, today we count down five of the most inappropriate children's shows to air on television. On July 8, 2007, Total Drama Island, a parody of the reality show Survivor, premiered in Canada on Teletoon. Then, on June 5, 2008, the show first aired in the United States on Cartoon Network. A portion of Total Drama Island's original content was removed in order to retain a PG rating. Some of the expunged content included long beeps to suggest that the reality show was censoring profanities spoken by the characters. Even so, the type of content in the show was still rare for Cartoon Network at the time. It was the third show on the channel outside of Adult Swim and Toonami to have a TV PG rating. But despite its initial content being trimmed down and a parental guidance warning at the beginning of each episode, Total Drama Island had many episodes that some believe were pushing the envelope. For instance, many of the scantily dressed female characters frequently made out with male characters. In addition to this, there were more than a few instances insinuating that some of the characters were going off to have sex. The show is also littered with other adult jokes and innuendos. Although Total Drama Island was frowned upon by many parents, this did not stop the creators from making it into a series, Total Drama, with five seasons so far. A new show in the series, Total Drama Daycare, is currently scheduled to be released sometime in 2018. A show notorious for its extremely bizarre and disturbing antagonists, Courage the Cowardly Dog was a horror comedy about a dog who continually encountered monsters, aliens, and demons with his elderly owners in the middle of nowhere. It first aired on Cartoon Network in 1996 as an animated short featured in Hanna-Barbera's What a Cartoon. The animated short, The Chicken from Outer Space, eventually became what is now known as Courage the Cowardly Dog, after it was greenlit by Cartoon Network. Its first episode aired on November 12, 1999. Many can recall the nightmarish and perturbing villains who terrorized Courage and his family throughout the show. Whether it was simply the appearance of the monster or the grim insinuations, Courage the Cowardly Dog easily frightened many of the children who grew up watching it. Some of the dark implications of the show included cannibalism, severe psychological agitation, the creation of marionettes out of human corpses, and possibly even prostitution. But even more unsettling was the grotesque and unnatural CGI animation used to create some of the monsters in the show. Four seasons of Courage the Cowardly Dog were produced, with the final episode airing on November 22nd of 2002. Over the years, it has gained a cult following. Without doubt, the haunting memories of this show are still well and alive in the minds of those who grew up watching it. Betty Boop is an iconic animated cartoon character who has appeared in television shows on many different occasions, including Talkertoon and a Betty Boop film series. Despite seeming innocent at first glance, upon closer inspection one will realize that there is something rather adult about this Golden Age cartoon idol. What many do not realize is that Betty Boop was an exaggerated depiction of what many call a Jazz Age flapper a young Western woman from the 1920s who rebelled against the social norms of the era, such as wearing excessive amounts of makeup, smoking, treating sex casually, and drinking. An example of this can be observed in the Tarkertoons' Minnie the Moocher. 
where Betty's character was portrayed as a teenage girl who went against the wishes of her more traditional parents by running away from home with her boyfriend. In other cartoons featuring Betty Boop, there are many male characters who attempt to slyly peek at her when she's either changing or minding her own business. In one particular cartoon entitled Chess Nuts, a character named the Black King intrudes into her house and ties her up. When she rejects him, the Black King drags her to a bedroom and says to her, I will have you. And then the bed runs away, suggesting that the Black King intended on raping Betty. In another cartoon called Boop Oop A Doop, Betty is a performer at a circus. In the episode, an evil ringmaster can be seen lusting after her, singing the song, Do Something. After presenting these illustrations, it is safe to conclude that Betty Boop was indeed more than just a harmless cartoon character, and perhaps should have been content more appropriate for adults. The Animaniacs was an animated comedy television series that first aired on Fox Kids from 1993 to 1995. It soon after appeared on the WB from 1995 to 1998. The show consists of skits featuring three main characters, the Warner siblings, as well as a wide range of other characters. Throughout the series, the Animaniac characters interact with famous people, figures of history, and even mythological beings. But despite this innocuous synopsis of the show, there have been many times where the show contained sexual references and adult humor. Examples include one episode where Yako mistakes the word conjugate for consummate, many instances where Yako and Wacko gawk at attractive women walking by, and even a scene where it was insinuated that a cartoon Madonna went off to have sex with two men. One of the more well-known scenes involved Yako, Wacko, and Dot playing detective. Yako tells Dot to dust for prints, and after some time, she says that she found prints, but it wasn't exactly what we might have been expecting. I found prints! No, 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 fingerprints. I don't think so. Children watching the show probably never understood the adult innuendos, but it is certainly shocking to look back at the series and realize just how many there were. The Ren and Stimpy Show is an animated series that first premiered on August 11th of 1991 as one of the three original Nicktoons on Nickelodeon. The series is about a psychologically unstable chihuahua named Ren and Stimpy, a loving cat with a very low intelligence. Although the premise of the show doesn't really seem so horrible, the Ren and Stimpy show is a series filled with adult jokes, sexual insinuations, dark humor, and violence. Many of the episodes contain scenes that include Ren pulling bloody nerves out of his rotten gums, a jester using a cheese grater to shred his skin off and applying a lemon to his cut arm, a family bath where Ren and Stimpy join their owners naked in a bathtub, Ren being scraped violently against face stubble, Ren eating cat litter, and many other revolting scenes. Numerous episodes were banned and censored by Nickelodeon for containing graphic violence, religious jokes, a scene of the Twin Towers being destroyed, as well as other dark subject matter. After 52 episodes and five seasons on December 16, 1995, the show ended. However, in 2003, an adult spin-off series entitled Ren and Stimpy Adult Party Cartoon aired on Spike, but was soon canceled after its debut. Many parents are relieved that this insane and, at times, repulsive show is no longer aired on children's television and Paramount Pictures rejected the idea of rebooting the series. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments what your favorite cartoon was growing up. I think most of us made it to adulthood pretty okay, kind of. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more, because you won't want to miss what's next. And I'll see you next time.